There is something quietly extraordinary happening inside the aging brain, a dance of molecules, a conversation between nerve cells that never truly ceases. Even when we sleep, the brain hums softly, repairing, sorting, remembering. Yet this beautiful rhythm is fragile. With age, the tempo slows, the harmony weakens, and the clarity of thought fades like a once brilliant melody played through an old instrument. But sometimes, a single missing note, one nutrient, one molecular player, can make all the difference in restoring that harmony. And today I wish to speak to you about such a note, a vitamin that quietly sustains the life of your brain, yet is too often forgotten, vitamin B12. When I study the body, I see not a collection of organs, but a living universe, a universe made of microscopic decisions. The cells of the nervous system, in particular, are among the most delicate and energy-demanding in this cosmos. Each neuron, with its intricate branches and shimmering synapses, depends on precise molecular machinery to communicate. Vitamin B12 is one of the subtle forces that keeps this machinery running, not with grandeur, but with silent necessity. This vitamin, known to scientists as cabalamin, plays a profound role in protecting the very structure of your neurons. It helps form the myelin sheath, a thin layer of insulation that wraps around each nerve fiber. Imagine it as the protective coating around an electrical wire. Without it, signals become erratic, slow, confused. And so too does the mind, when deprived of B12. Seniors especially are vulnerable not because the body stops needing this vitamin, but because it grows less capable of absorbing it. The stomach's acid weakens, intrinsic factor declines, and food-bound B12 passes through unclaimed. Over years, this subtle deficiency can quietly dull the brain's edge, affecting memory, focus, and even mood. When I reflect on this process, I am struck by how the smallest chemical imbalance can reshape the landscape of our thoughts. We humans take consciousness for granted, yet it is built on a delicate foundation of biochemistry. One molecule mismanaged, one reaction interrupted, and the harmony of cognition falters. This is not merely a medical observation, it is a philosophical one. The health of the mind is rooted in the invisible discipline of the cell. Vitamin B12 is also a guardian of the blood and a caretaker of genetic integrity. Inside each cell, it acts as a cofactor for enzymes that control the synthesis of DNA and the recycling of homocysteine, a potentially harmful amino acid. When B12 is deficient, homocysteine levels rise, quietly damaging blood vessels and impairing circulation, including the circulation within the brain. The result is subtle but devastating. Neurons starved of oxygen and nutrients, connections weakening, memory fading. Modern research has shown that people with low B12 levels often experience brain shrinkage faster than those with healthy levels. But even without these data, the logic of biology is clear. The brain cannot remain young in a body that neglects the chemistry of repair. Yet what fascinates me most is not only the science of B12, but the story of how it participates in life's greater order. When we eat, we do not merely take in food, we take in information from nature. Each nutrient tells our cells something about how to behave, how to grow, how to heal. Vitamin B12, found mainly in animal-based foods like fish, eggs, and dairy, carries with it the wisdom of microbial life. It is synthesized not by plants or animals, but by certain bacteria that dwell in soil and water. It is one of the oldest biological molecules older than humanity itself. Every molecule of B12 in your body has its origin in a microbe's ancient effort to survive. To me, that is profoundly humbling. The idea that our sharpness of mind depends on the evolutionary intelligence of bacteria in older adults, B12 absorption is often impaired because the stomach's environment changes with time. The production of hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor 
both essential for releasing and binding B12 from food, diminishes. Certain medications, such as antacids or diabetes drugs, further reduce absorption. Even those who eat well may find themselves deficient without realizing it. The symptoms can be deceptively gentle at first, a little forgetfulness, mild fatigue, tingling in the hands or feet. But these are not signs to ignore. They are the body's quiet plea for biochemical balance. I once observed that the most overlooked causes of aging often lie not in what we lack in effort, but in what we overlook in nourishment. The brain, like a garden, must be tended. It does not wither overnight, but gradually, when we stop giving it what it needs to thrive. Vitamin B12 is not a miracle pill, but rather a missing piece of an ancient biological conversation that keeps our neurons alive and alert. I often imagine the brain as a vast forest. Neurons like trees, their branches touching through electrical whispers. In that forest, B12 is part of the soil's richness. Without it, the roots dry, the leaves fade, and the ecosystem loses resilience. But with it, the forest thrives, signals travel smoothly, communication blossoms, and memories remain vibrant, like sunlight filtering through leaves. Modern science now confirms that B12 deficiency can mimic symptoms of dementia, depression, and even neuropathy. But the encouraging truth is that when identified early, the effects are reversible. The brain is remarkably forgiving when given the right tools to repair itself. Supplementation, dietary attention, and awareness can restore the biochemical environment in which neural plasticity, the brain's ability to form new connections, can flourish. It is as if the forest can regrow given water and care. When I speak with older individuals, I often sense a quiet resignation, as if memory loss or mental fatigue is an unavoidable part of aging. But I must tell you, science does not agree. The brain, even at 80, still learns, adapts, and repairs. The difference lies in whether we continue to feed its cellular machinery. Vitamins like B12, folate, and B6 operate in concert to recycle homocysteine into methionine, fueling methylation, the molecular signature writing process that controls gene activity. Without this methylation, the brain's chemistry drifts into chaos, but when it flows properly, neurons communicate clearly, emotions stabilize, and thought remains luminous. It fascinates me that the very processes which maintain mental clarity also govern cellular longevity. Methylation is not only about cognition, it is about the renewal of life itself. It determines how DNA is expressed, how proteins are formed, how cells detoxify, and B12 is at its heart. It is like the silent script editor of the genome, ensuring that every line of biological code is written correctly. We often measure intelligence by words, ideas, or inventions. But biological intelligence, the intelligence of a healthy cell, is just as real, just as profound. When you nourish that intelligence, you honor the wisdom of evolution. When you neglect it, you silence a language written into your body millions of years ago. And so, my friends, the message is simple but not trivial. Do not ignore what is essential because it is invisible. Vitamin B12 does not announce itself with fanfare. It does not give instant energy or visible glow. But it works in silence, defending your neurons, maintaining your DNA, keeping your thoughts bright. In every sense, it is the vitamin of mental longevity. There is a quiet dignity in taking care of the brain, not through force or ambition, but through understanding. The more I study the biology of aging, the more I realize that health is not something we impose upon the body. It is something we nurture from within. Every molecule, every enzyme, every nutrient plays a role in maintaining harmony, and vitamin B12 is one of those unsung guardians of order. When the brain begins to lose clarity, the world itself seems to dim. Names escape us, memories blur, focus wavers. But the decline of the mind is not always a destiny written by time. 
It is, often, a story written by chemistry, the neurons that once fired effortlessly across vast networks of thought begin to slow when deprived of the raw materials for their work. This slowing is not a sign of failure, it is a signal, a whisper from the body asking to be replenished. And in that whisper, vitamin B12 often speaks first. Many seniors live for years with mild B12 deficiency without ever knowing it. They may visit doctors for fatigue, depression, forgetfulness, or even balance problems, and yet the root cause remains unrecognized. The body, in its patience, compensates for as long as it can, but neurons, unlike other cells, have limited capacity for regeneration. They rely on a constant flow of nutrients and oxygen. When that flow is disturbed, when methylation falters, when myelin weakens, the neuron does not die immediately. It fades, its connections loosen, its signals scatter. The mind feels it as confusion, but at the molecular level, it is the fading of communication between life's most sensitive instruments. When I reflect on this, I am reminded of a deeper truth about the human body, that maintenance is not a reaction to decay, but a form of respect for life. The older brain still possesses the same molecular machinery it had in youth. It simply requires more deliberate care. Vitamin B12 is not a supplement in the ordinary sense. It is a molecule of restoration, allowing the cell to remember how to be efficient again. What fascinates me most about B12 is how it unites so many biological pathways into one story. It connects the nervous system, the blood, the liver, and the DNA itself. It is involved in producing red blood cells, which carry oxygen to the brain. It participates in the breakdown of fatty acids, ensuring that neurons have clean energy. It regulates neurotransmitter synthesis, influencing mood, focus, and motivation. And through its role in methylation, it preserves the fidelity of our genetic memory. In this sense, Vitamin B12 is not only a nutrient, it is a keeper of identity. It maintains the biochemical pattern that makes each of us who we are. There is something poetic about the fact that the brain, our seat of consciousness, depends on something as small as a cobalt-containing molecule. It reminds us that complexity arises from simplicity, that intelligence emerges from chemistry. The same principle governs nature at every scale. Mountains rise from grains of sand, galaxies form from dust. The health of the mind, too, rests upon the invisible cooperation of elements. In acknowledging this, we learn humility. As the years advance, digestion becomes gentler, slower, the stomach produces less acid, and the intestines lose some of their absorptive vigor. These are natural changes, but they create a subtle risk. Even a diet rich in B12, from eggs, salmon, sardines, or yogurt, may not yield enough active vitamin to meet the brain's needs. This is why many elders benefit from B12 in its free form. Sublingual tablets, fortified foods, or injections, forms that bypass the digestive barrier. These are not artificial solutions, they are adaptations, ways of working with the body's changing physiology rather than against it. I sometimes think of supplementation not as adding something foreign, but as restoring a conversation that has gone quiet. The body always knows how to use what it recognizes, and it recognizes B12 as an ally, not an intruder. When B12 levels rise again, the effects are often subtle at first. Deeper sleep, steadier focus, more balanced emotions. Then slowly clarity returns, as if fog is lifting from the mind. The neurons, nourished again, resume their gentle rhythm of repair. Sleep, too, is influenced by this vitamin. The synthesis of melatonin, serotonin, and dopamine the molecules that govern our cycles of rest, alertness, and joy, depends indirectly on B12. When levels are low, sleep becomes shallow, dreams fragmented, mornings dull. But when the vitamin is restored, the brain's circadian orchestra tunes itself once more. 
deep sleep returns, and with it, the nightly renewal of neurons. This is not magic. It is biology remembering its rhythm. I often describe aging as a gradual loss of cellular discipline. The young cell is orderly, precise, responsive. The old cell is slower to repair mistakes, slower to remove waste. Yet even this can be reversed to some extent, because life at the molecular level is never static. Autophagy, the process by which cells clean themselves, continues throughout life. Vitamins like B12 do not initiate autophagy directly, but they create the biochemical conditions in which it can proceed smoothly. A well-nourished cell has the energy and resources to dismantle damaged proteins, recycle them, and build anew. In this way, the vitamin supports not only the structure of neurons, but also their inner housekeeping. The relationship between nutrition and cognition is profound. When B12, folate, and B6 are all in balance, homocysteine is kept low, oxidative stress is minimized, and blood flow to the brain remains robust. Each of these steps preserves the integrity of the hippocampus, the brain's memory center. And memory, I believe, is not just a biological process. It is the very continuity of self. To lose memory is not simply to forget. It is to drift away from one's own story. This is why protecting the brain's chemistry is an act of self-preservation in the truest sense. Sometimes people ask me whether taking one vitamin can really change the course of aging. My answer is that it depends on how you define change. If by change you mean reversing time, then no, time remains undefeated. But if by change you mean preserving clarity, awareness, curiosity, and connection, then yes, profoundly so. Biology rewards consistency. Small acts, repeated daily, reshape the trajectory of health. Ensuring adequate B12 intake is one of those acts, modest, invisible, yet deeply consequential. In the silence of the laboratory, I often watch under the microscope as cells divide and differentiate. They remind me of people, each following a genetic plan, yet responsive to their surroundings. Give them the right nutrients, and they flourish. Deprive them, and they falter. The lesson is universal. Life seeks balance. It thrives when given the conditions it evolved to expect. The human brain, in its vast complexity, still obeys that simple law. And so, I say to you, do not ignore what keeps your brain alive. Let your curiosity extend inward to the chemistry that sustains your thoughts. Ask your physician to check your B12 levels. Eat foods that nourish your cells. Consider supplementation if absorption is weak. These are not trivial acts. They are forms of reverence for the miracle of consciousness itself. Each neuron in your brain is a story billions of years in the making. It is the culmination of evolution's patient craftsmanship. It has waited through time for your experiences, your memories, your dreams. To protect it is to honor not only yourself, but life itself. Vitamin B12 is one of the quiet ways we do that, by ensuring that the delicate machinery of awareness never runs dry. The older I become, the more I see that longevity without clarity is only partial living. The goal is not just to extend years, but to keep them meaningful. To remain curious, capable of wonder, able to think, learn, and love without the dimming fog of decline. The mind is the most beautiful expression of biology's complexity, and B12 is one of its essential caretakers. So seniors, stop ignoring this vitamin. See it not as another supplement, but as a symbol of the body's intricate wisdom. Feed your neurons as faithfully as you feed your heart. Let science be your ally in aging, gentle, precise, and compassionate. For in every molecule of vitamin B12 lies a simple promise that the mind, when nourished, can remain young far longer than the body that carries it.